Hey, if you sprained your ankle recently or if you have ankle instability and you're considering a brace like this one here, stick around because in this video, we'll take a look at a couple popular ankle braces and I'll share ones that I've been recommending to my patients in my physical therapy clinic. We'll go into detail of these braces here in a minute, but if you're interested in taking a look at them yourself, you can scroll down, you can see the link below where I personally purchased these braces. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Tim Fraticelli, I'm a physical therapist and I work closely with a lot of patients who are trying to recover from ankle sprains or just general instability. And oftentimes they ask me about the best ankle braces they can use for support. Now, as you may know, an ankle sprain can leave you feeling pretty debilitated because of the pain and the swelling, not to mention the fear of recurring sprains. So for people who have chronic ankle sprains, you'll probably need more than just a brace to address the weakness and instability at your ankle, which is why physical therapy is so important. But a good ankle brace is a good start as you prevent further injury and it allows your ankle to heal as you gradually build your strength. Of course, just please remember that this video is not to diagnose your ankle injury and you really do need to see a doctor or physical therapist who can assess the severity of your ankle injury. So my goal here is to educate you on these ankle braces and to provide you a review so that you can make a decision, a good decision with your doctor or your physical therapist if they recommend wearing a supportive ankle brace. Okay, onto the first brace. This is the ACE Ankle Stabilizer. It's commonly found in Walmart or Walgreens or even Amazon, that's where I got this one. Uh, you've heard of the Ace brand before, they've got a lot of good quality products. And this is the Deluxe Ankle Stabilizer. Specifically, it's helpful to uh, limit lateral motion. Now this is a bilateral brace, meaning that you can put it on either foot and it's designed to provide extra stability uh, when you're walking or hiking or doing other sports. And this is the most minimal of braces that, I'll, that I have today, meaning it takes up the least amount of space, which may be helpful if you're trying to wear a shoe that doesn't have much room in it to begin with. But even with the minimal design, there is a noticeable increase in a difference in stability with these lateral support stays, um, which may not look super supportive, but it does a nice job providing support and stability without being too bulky. Now here's the thing about a brace like this ACE ankle brace. It is pretty minimally uh, invasive and it has a, a decent ankle support on the side here, uh, but it's not gonna be for your more moderate ankle sprains. This is gonna be a great ankle brace for increased activity, getting back to uh, running or jogging or hiking, but immediately after a, a, a moderate ankle sprain, you're gonna want something a little bit more sturdy than this. So I wouldn't totally throw this one away or call it one that I wouldn't get. I would just use this as a transition brace or for very light sprains. Uh, but overall, the quality is very nice on these braces. I think Ace does a really good job with the quality of the materials from the side straps and the elastic and, uh, and the Velcro to the breathable material on the top of your foot. This is made out of a very comfortable material, which is especially helpful in the hotter seasons and uh, really you can get it without breaking the bank. It's about 15 bucks, which makes it one of the most accessible braces out there. So I think this is a very good thing to have if you've sprained your ankle and you're rehabbing into more activity. This can be a very good support um, as you go into more activity. But is it the best support for a moderate sprain? I don't think so. It's uh, something that you're going to have to check with your physician about and your physical therapist to see if you need something more supportive. And in my clinic, I generally would recommend a tie-up brace. Those provide a little bit more stability and we'll look at a couple of those right now. All right, let's take a look at the Mueller tie-up ankle brace, also referred to as the one ankle brace. It's kind of a funny name because it comes in like eight different sizes and you can see the different charts right here. Uh, typically I wear size 11 and a half to 12 shoes. So this is a large and it fits just fine. Now at first glance, this has the quality that I would expect from Mueller on everything from the laces to the Velcro that they use and even the stitching material inside the tongue and the outer components of the brace, it feels soft, which really matters if you have to wear a brace all day. Now, when you go to put on a tie-up ankle brace like this, you want it to be as loose as possible, especially if you're putting on a brace over a sprained ankle. And once you have it on, carefully tighten the laces just like you would with a pair of tennis shoes. You don't wanna make it so tight that your, your feet loses circulation, so be sure to monitor the color and the circulation and any irritation that may result from a brace rubbing up against your foot. Constantly check that brace to make sure it's fitting appropriately. Now this tie-up ankle brace doesn't have any hard ankle stays or support along the side, but it does have these full length straps that are designed to go around the arch of the foot and provide st support on lateral stability. And so you secure it to the side of the brace. Mueller even gives a recommendation as to which side of the strap that you uh, go around first, depending on your injury. So for example, for a lateral ankle sprain, you start with the outside band or band that is closest to where the pain is centered on your ankle. And if you have pain along the inside of your foot, you do the opposite and you start with the inner strap as you wrap it around and attach it to the Velcro along the side. 
Now, one of the things I really noticed between the Mueller brace and the Ace ankle stabilizer is the degree of support. And this one brace from Mueller definitely has greater overall stability and prevents inversion and eversion, which are the motions that you're trying to prevent after you experience an ankle sprain. And while it certainly isn't as slim as the Ace ankle brace, it's really not super bulky either. And it fits pretty well in different types of shoes, whether you're wearing an athletic shoe or a dress shoe, it shouldn't prevent you wearing most shoes, which is very nice. Now, in terms of price, you'll pay about twice the amount of an Ace ankle brace for this Mueller brace, but I think honestly you get twice the support and at about 30 bucks, this isn't the most expensive brace out there, but it's not the cheapest by any means, but I do think that it does a great job and it can be very helpful for those moderate ankle sprains, especially early on after an injury. Now, if you have the ability to purchase a tie-up ankle brace like the, the one brace by Mueller and also a light ankle stabilizer brace like the Ace ankle stabilizer, I think it can make for a really nice transition out of using an ankle brace. And as you, as you further along your rehab for your ankle, obviously you wouldn't wanna wear both braces at once, but you would make the transition from wearing the Mueller brace down to the ACE stabilizer and ideally you're not going to want to wear these braces for your entire life but in the short term they can really be helpful to prevent further injury and allow your ankle to heal while you're progressing that ankle stability and strengthening through rehab and other exercises. I've recommended both of these braces to my patients in the clinic, but I do have a third brace that I found on Amazon. I thought I might as well get it compared because it falls between these two braces in terms of price, and you might see something similar when you're shopping on Amazon for a product like this. Okay, this brace right here is called the Z Athletic Tie-Up Ankle Brace, and if you're paying close attention, it looks very similar in style to the One Ankle Brace by Mueller, and that's because these two braces are in the same general category of tie-up ankle braces, but I did notice a few differences that I want to point out. Now, obviously, the first difference is price. The Mueller brace came in about $8 more than the Z Athletic brace, which you can buy for about $27 on Amazon. It's not cheap, but when you compare the quality of the materials between the braces, you can definitely tell a difference in quality. For example, the Z ankle brace doesn't seem to snug up as tightly as the Mueller brace, and there are a ton of grommets on the uh, ankle brace itself which may seem significant, but it doesn't really do anything in terms of added stability. Now, as for the quality of the materials, this is probably the biggest difference between these braces, especially along the edges of the Z brace, where it meets the top of my foot. I felt like the stitching was a bit rough on the edges, which I think happens because of the way the tongue of the brace is attached to the sides. On the Mueller brace, the tongue is more free floating, I suppose, and it has a softer material and better stitching, so it doesn't scratch against my foot. Uh, but on the Z brace, it has a little bit more of a rough edge and I could feel it whether I was wearing socks or no socks and wearing the brace. In terms of stability and support, I think both of these braces do an overall good job, but if I'm gonna wear either brace for more than an hour, I'd want the one that feels the most comfortable. Now, if the Z brace is the only one that you have available to you, yes, it's gonna provide very good support, but if you have the option and the ability to go with a more comfortable brace, I think that you'll be happy in spending the few extra dollars for the Mueller brace. So if you need an ankle brace for a moderate ankle sprain, check out the one brace by Mueller. It's especially helpful for early ankle sprains that can be managed conservatively by recommendation of your doctor or physical therapist. And I wouldn't completely write off the ACE ankle stabilizer either. I think it's a great transition brace or it's a great brace if you just have a very minor ankle sprain. You can find the links of both of these braces in the description below. And if you found this video to be helpful, I'd love it if you gave it a like below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.